Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I dive into this lesson, I'd like to give our honor and our glory to the Most High God. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushah, Bashem, Kwakadash, the lines to the great minister and the apostles were teaching priests this truth because the folk on this world, which were well, and for the sincere Akim that's out there pushing this truth and sincerity, keep doing so. And for the sincere Akwathim that's out there resting and husband being a pillar of rest, keep doing so. And for this, and a uh, hearty shalom to the hopeful. Hopefully, I'll let this scatter grow abroad across the folk on this world. Okay, so this lesson is basically going over this article. You know, it's basically going over. You know, how the Lord's putting these spirits out here. You know, the the these uh, death angels out here. You know, they they doing their job, man. You know, it's gonna get more worse and worse, man. Because we gotta make sure we in the spirit of fearing the Lord more and more, so we don't get caught up or uh, caught out here. Okay, so. Go ahead and dive into it. It says, four killed, including child, in mass shooting at Orange Office a Complex in California. And it says, America is, America is waking up to a yet another mass shooting. This time, four people, including a child, have been killed with a fifth person left injured in a mass shooting in the Orange Office Complex. Now, this is a thing they got going around. You know, these could be crisis actors or these are planned crisis or, or ordo archaeo, you know, basically ordered order chaos, you know. But it's just, hey, man, they, these spirits, if this is true, you know, these, these spirits are getting riled up and the Lord is sending them down here, okay? You know, they, they uh, wreaking havoc, you know, judging, the judgment going out. Okay, and it says according to the report from Yahoo News, the latest incident will mark the third mass shooting in the United States in just two weeks, including incidents that took place in, at three Atlanta spas that killed eight people, including six Asian women at at in Boulder, Col at a Boulder, Colorado supermarket that left ten people dead. The report has revealed that the, this latest shooting has left few details yet available but about victims for or a potential motive for this shooting. But the spokesman for the Oregon Police Department state stated that the police officer reported received a phone call around 5.30 p.m. of shots being fired and responded to the business of 200, 202 West Lincoln Avenue in Orange, the Bell Beige the Bay's two-story office complex at the address contains a number of small businesses. When the officers arrive on the scene, they encounter gunfire and prompted them to uh, uh, open fire. The report states that the shooter himself was also taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound and was listed in a critical condition at Wednesday, on Wednesday night. In this report, it is stated that states that it is yet unclear that the wound Still like it. The wound of the shooter re revived was self-inflicted, or it was was struck by the police gunfire. According to the statement of the police, another woman was also shot and listed in a critical condition Wednesday night. According to a police spokesman, the city hasn't has hasn't had a situation like this since the nineteen ninety seven Cardron shooting. In the, in that incident. A former state employee opened fire with a open uh, an assault rifle at state maintenance yard, uh, killing four people and before dying in a po in a shootout with the police. The complex where the shooting occurred is is residence to a dozen businesses, and including the insurance office a, a marriage therapist, speech and language pathologist, a phone repair shop, and several property management companies so ultimately man if this is true that this actually happened or this is a, a stage event you know because we can't be ignorant to say his devices and nor can we put, be ignorant to any any ignorant to any small thing you know but this just hey man this is like a warning that the lord is putting out here you know four people and a child got killed man you know for no no what they don't know what they did not for the birth false witness you know but, hey, don't know what they did, but, hey, they did something for the Lord to be able to do something like this or to judge them like this, and the child gets killed, too, you know? Because the Lord is a dark power, man. He creates darkness and creates light. You know, let's go ahead and get these scriptures. 
I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, Isaiah, I think it's 33. Slocky, I think it's Slocky, bear with me. This is Isaiah 45 and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Okay, so, hey, the Lord is in control of all these things. Okay, the Lord is in control of darkness and evil. The Lord is in control of what evil goes down here. Okay, because the Lord is a balance. Okay. He deals with balance. You know, the Lord doesn't deal with just one side. He deals with balance. He controls both sides, evil and good. Okay, so... That right happened right there. That was evil, and the Lord was in control of that. The Lord put the spirit of vengeance out there, you know. Let's go ahead and go and get that in this scripture real quick. Please ask us chapter 39. And it says in verse 28, it says, These be there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury they lay on sword strokes in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay, so hey, there are spirits created for vengeance, and the Lord and the Lord be sending out these spirits to do his will. You know, cause the angels would never bail. Read Psalms 103, you know, verse 20, I think. It's lucky if it's wrong. But hey, the the, the spirit the spirits are out here. You know, these evil angels and these death angels are out here doing the work of the Lord, man. They going hard, you know, because the Passover is, you know, for the end, you know, and the, the Lord is sifting a lot of people out, putting people to death, man. You know, Lord forbid that happened to any of you sincere brothers that's in this truth and sincere sisters. And Lord forbid that happens to me, you know. But at the end of the day, man, this stuff is happening because, you know, it's the, the Lord finna start sending a lot of judgment out here, you know. Because you read this scripture right here in 2nd Edgeris, uh, chapter 13, let's no, go verse 15, no, 16. Then it says, uh, let me go in verse 3 and 4. Let me go ahead and uh, read it. And it says, a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you. And fire is sent among you, and who may quench it, okay? So, hey, the Lord is telling you, man, that who, um, if a fire is, it says a fire is sent among you, who may quench it? So the Lord is sending these spirits out here, you know, and sending all these things and these plagues towards Babylon, you know, and it, the Lord is basically saying, who shall turn it back, man? You know, because you're going to uh, Isaiah, This is Isaiah 55 and verse 10 through 11. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returning not thither, and water, but water the earth and make it bring forth in bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth forth out of my mouth and it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the things whereunto i sent it you know so just like how the, how snow and rain comes from the earth i mean come from the ground from the sky and it falls on the earth you know it doesn't go back up you know that's how these prophecies are the Lord spoke all these things that's going to happen. The Lord spoke of Jacob's trouble. The Lord spoke of the RFID chip. The Lord spoke of thermonuclear destruction coming to America, World War Three, and etc. You know, the Lord spoke of, you know, people going to be having swords, going against each other, fighting against each other. Esau going to be fighting against Esau. You know, there's going to be a lot of things happening out here because the Lord is putting the spirits out here. You know, and the Lord also just told us that if a fire is sent among you, who shall quench it? Okay. So 
Lord will in this lesson is edifying, like to give our honor and our glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahusha, by Hashem, with Kakadash, double honor to the great man, still at the apostles, with teaching priests the truth across the four corners of this world, with this real will, and for the sincere Akim that's out there pushing this truth and sincerity to keep doing so, and for the for sincere, sincere Akwathim that's out there reverencing her husband, keep doing so, and a hearty shalom to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad. Till next time, till next video, shalom, Kwam Yasharala, Ba